Coming up next is Doctor Who Series 5, Episode 1, called The 11th Hour. I believe it's called that because this is the 11th Doctor Mine 3rd. Let's get into it. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Afan, and welcome to my channel. Doctor Who is the show, Series 5. We are in. This is one that you guys are telling me is the golden era. One that actually a few of you suggested that I start this series off in and skip the first four series. Anyways. So yeah, I'm very excited to see how this one's going to go down. Matt Smith is the new doctor. I only know him from House of the Dragon, which is on my channel, by the way. Very good show. I love Game of Thrones, as you can see. So I know him as Damon Targaryen, but I'm very much looking forward to getting to know him as the doctor. So without any further ado, Mountain Dew Diet. Here we go. Let's get into it, mate. Ooh, the frame rate feels very smooth. Okay, they I think have definitely improved the production value. There he is. Damon f***ing Targaryen. Ooh, that was a close one, sigh of relief indeed. Still got his shoes. Well, got very similar clothes to the previous Daco. Oh, the intro is different. Okay. The box TARDIS is getting struck by lightning. Okay. The 11th Hour by Stephen Moffat. Moffat? Moffat? I'm not entirely sure how to say his name. His stories in the past have been pretty decent, actually. They changed the logo, too. I mean, I saw different logos when I was looking for, like, uh, logos to make the thumbnails. For the dolls and the pencils and the fish. It's Easter now, so I hope I didn't wake you. Uh, Scottish, eh? I always get the accents wrong, so it's probably, like, you know, not Scottish. <laughs> I'm like Welsh or something. At night, there's voices. Please, could you send someone to fix it? <laughs> uh, doctor? There it is. Ducko is on his way. He's got paintings. It's reminding me of that girl from the library. Silence in the library. In the bibliotheque. Wow. Got struck by lightning. Santa. Hmm. <laughs> Is she going to be the companion? Does the doco ever have a child companion? Well, it's quite dangerous. Well, it's dangerous for the adults too, but you know. Hello. Can I have an apple? <laughs> sure. About? Adams? Apples. I love apples. All the way down there, right to the library. <laughs> climb back up. Speaking of library. Are you a policeman? Why? Get in a police box. Man. Did you come about the crack in my wall? You have a crack in your wall? What's going on? Is he fully, like, not regenerated or is it something else? This is all perfectly normal. <coughs> okay, it's still the. I don't know yet. I'm still cooking. I'm the doctor. Do everything I tell you, don't ask stupid questions, <laughs> and don't wander off. Oh. Lovely. Right. <laughs> well, that's all right as you can get, I suppose, after walking into a tree. <coughs> Manners, boyo. What's that? An apple. Apple's rubbish. I hate apples. You said you love them. No, no, no. I love yogurt. Yogurt's my favorite. Give me yogurt. <laughs> He's just trying out new stuff. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bro, you're in front of a child. Can you stop doing that? I mean, you shouldn't do that anyways, but like definitely not in front of a child. What's wrong with you? It's not my fault. Why can't you give me any decent food? You're Scottish. Fry something. <laughs> <laughs> the 
Lovely. Bacon. That's bacon. Are you trying to poison me? Why? <laughs> Is he a Muslim? <laughs> I am too. Bees are evil. Bad, bad bees. Yeah. Just the way they look, you can tell they got these horns. Beans are awesome, man. I don't know what he's talking about. Lovely. Stay out! <laughs> I've got some carrots. Carrots? Good for the eyes. Need. I need. I... Are those carrots from Mars? Is nobody home with this little baby? What's your name? Amelia Pond. Like a name in a fairy tale. Oh, in Scotland, <laughs> Amelia. No, I had to move to England. It's rubbish. So what about you? Okay, so her accent is Scottish then. I got that one right, let's go. Don't have a mum and dad, just an aunt. Oh, are you related to the Dursleys by any way? of anything. Box falls out of the sky, man falls out of a box, man eats fish custard. <laughs> Look at you. I thought it was French toast, but they eat it at fish stick, so. What? I guess he likes fish sticks then. That's the crack. <laughs> Babe! <laughs> Got some cowboys in here. Not actual cowboys. Oh. Cowboys in your crack? It's a child. Can you stop? I'm talking to myself, by the way, yes. Wibbly wobbly timey wimey. Hey! <laughs> it's a crack. Wow, the crack is a crack. Who would have thought? This guy, he just throws stuff. It means that on the other side of this wall, there's a prison. And the uh, one who's zero has escaped. We need a better wall. <laughs> the only way to close the breach is to open it all the way. The forces will invert and it'll snap itself shut. The grown ups tell you everything's going to be fine and you <laughs> be lying to make you feel better. Yes. Yeah, he's lying. Everything's gonna be fine. <laughs> Hello. Whoa. So. That's an eye. It's the eye of Sauron. Whoa! Right in the. So does the sun shine there now? Was that prisoner zero? No. I think that was Prisoner Zero's guard. I think it was the guard's eye, actually. No, not eye, eye. Prisoner Zero escaped through here. Through the window. <laughs> it's difficult, brand new me, nothing works yet, but there's something I'm missing. You know, this brand new me is kind of like the brand old him. He's acting like him. That's just a box. How can a box of angels? He's so like. Manic, active, like a real one. Our boy, your David. Time machine. Not much longer if we can't get it stabilized. Five He's got the same kind of clothes as well, although the clothes are pretty much not safe in here, not yet. done. Give me five minutes. I'll be right back. But obviously, this is part of the process. He hasn't fully completed the transition yet. Geronimo. Geronimo. So is that from here? I do people, I do people, I do people, and then I hear them say, Geronimo. <laughs> oh, someone needs to stop me. Wow, her door looks like a TARDIS. She's going to follow him, but he's gone already. Why the focus on the door being left open? Can we close now? Nope, it's still open. I swear if it's a jump scare. Okay, no, it's not. <laughs> waiting and waiting and waiting. Someone watching her? No, it's the aunt? Or is it the eye of Sauron? The eye of Prisoner Zero's guard? Made in England? It's here. He's back. Prisoner Zero is here. Prisoner Zero is here! Was she Prisoner Zero? Mother. 
Amelia might have been prisoner zero. Doctor. 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 Get the ducko. Doctor. Doctor. Who's a resident ducko here? You sit still. <clears throat> cricket bat. I'm getting cricket bat. You were breaking it. Cover drive. Oh, that's much better. He didn't break anything. He used a screwdriver. He was careful. Just shut up now. I've got backup on the way. Oh, sorry. You're a policewoman. So what are you doing here? Where's Amelia? Amelia Shh. Yeah. She's Amelia? Amelia? Little Scottish girl. Where is she? Hmm? I promised her five minutes, but the engines were phasing. I suppose I must have gone a bit... She kind of looks like her. Also... Something happened to her. Amelia Bond hasn't lived here in a long time. Okay. How long? Six months. No. No, I can't be six months late. I said five minutes. I promised. What happened to her? What happened? What happened to Amelia? Sergeant's me again. Hurry it up. This guy knows something about Amelia Pond. I was gonna say he he spends a lot of time there, but he comes back to the same time, so it should be like six minutes, right? But that's that. Uh, she was in the other episode. I don't. One of them. I don't remember the Pompeii one. I think right. Funny. Thing. The yes, red I woman. Know. Dr. Carver told me about Also, she's uh, Nebula. We've been very patient with you, Rory. You're a good enough nurse, but for God's possibility that you could have seen them wandering about the village. Why are you giving me your phone? It's a camera, too. <laughs> Trying to show you footage? You need to take some time off, Rory. A lot of time off. Start now. Now! Are you going to look at the video? No? Okay. Right now. I live here. You're the police. Wait, cop, cops wear that? Yes, have you got a problem with that? No, I don't have a problem with that. I'm just asking, man. Look where? Exactly where you don't want to look, where you never want to look. The corner of your eye. Look behind you. <laughs> That's... That is not possible. How is that possible? Should have seen it. That's a whole room. That's a whole room I've never even noticed. The filter stops you noticing. Something came here a while ago. Do not touch that door. Listen to me. Do not open that. <laughs> Get out. Silver blue at the end. It's here. Must have rolled under the door. Yeah. Must have. That blood looks like and Nutella. On the table. Nutella. Get out! Uh. Okay. What is it? What are you doing? What is it? Don't try to see it. If you know you've seen it, it will kill you. Do not look. Well, it just looked. It's regenerating. But it's just. No, it isn't. Look at the faith. Apparently we're safe. Wanna know why? She sent for backup. I didn't send for backup. I know that was a clever lie to save our lives. <laughs> and that's why we're safe. Alone we're not threat to you. If we had backup, then you'd have to kill us. Attention, prisoner zero. The human residence is surrounded. Attention, prisoner zero. That? Well, that won't be back up. Okay, one more time. We do have backup, and that's definitely why we're safe. Uh oh, incineration. An alien convict is hiding in your spare room. Do that not now. It's still rebuilding, not letting us in. The dog is out. Yep. There's a new one. Let's go. Yeah, but the new one's got old. It's ten years old at least. Twelve years. I'm not six months late. I'm twelve years late. I was gonna say she she she's older, a lot older. Why did you say six months? Well, why did you say five minutes? What? Come on. Come on. What? She is her. She's Amelia Pond. You're Amelia. You're late. Amelia Pond. <laughs> all the 
little girl. I'm Amelia, and you're late. What happened? Twelve years. You hit me with a cricket bat. <laughs> Twelve years. A cricket bat. <laughs> four psychiatrists. Four. I kept biting them. Why? They said you weren't real. <laughs> I don't know what a kiss of grime is, by the way. Why are you playing that? You're supposed to be Claire de Lune. <laughs> well, sounds like her. I don't know who that is. Talk to Percy, and we're doing a special on television parts in this area. Also, crimes. <laughs> Jamie, you were Amelia. Yeah, and I'm Amy. Amelia Pond. That was a great name. <laughs> well, Amy is. I know. Kind of. Isn't that short for Amelia? I've seen you somewhere before. Not me. Emily. Face it. Amy. First time on. <laughs> I go to parties and I kiss people. Oh, I see. It's a laugh. You were a little girl five minutes ago. You're worse than my aunt. I'm the doctor. I'm worse than everybody's aunt. <laughs> okay. Every language. It's yeah. They'll have to power up first, won't they? So, assuming a medium-sized starship, that's 20 minutes. Oh, I don't... I don't know him, but I don't. It's, um... He's from Merlin. I can't remember who he is in Merlin, though. 20 minutes to the end of the world. Where's the rest of it? This is it. This is it. <laughs> no. Why aren't there any ducks? I don't know. There's no <laughs> ducks. Then how do you know it's a duck pond? It just is. She knows ponds, all right? She's a pond herself. Oh, I'm not ready. I'm not done yet. It's been 12 years already, bro. Doctor, what's wrong with the sun? Nothing's fair now they're getting ready to boil the planet. <clears throat> uh, the human race. The end comes down a video phone. I saw it and I missed it. <gasps> what did I see? I saw. What did I see? I saw, I saw. His red mark went away from hitting himself real quick. Twenty minutes. I can do it. Say goodbye or stay and help me. No. <gasps> I'm sorry. They're both. No. Amy. No. No. What are you doing? Arresting you. You're out of your mind. You're under arrest. You no, really. Who are you? I'm real. What's happening in the sky is real. And if you don't let me go right now, everything you've ever known is over. I don't believe you. <laughs> Just 20 minutes. What do we do? <laughs> it's him. Just... The doctor, the raggedy doctor. Yeah, he came back. But he was a story. He was a game. Man and dog, why? Tell me now. Sorry, because he can't be there because he's in, in a hospital. hospital. In a coma. The life feed, a psychic link with a living but dormant mind. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I see. This is interesting. Prisoner Zero. And there's the Eye of Sauron on the tower. Leedsworth. What was that? Place? Township? Something? Very scanning this area for non-terrestrial technology. No! I think someone's gonna notice, don't you? <laughs> well, it's not noticing. Whoa. That eye sucks. Went into the train. Is that snake thingy? Looked kind of like a fish, but also a snake. Kind of reminded me of the basilisk from Harry Potter. How could he be real? He was never real. Phone now. Give me the dog. Laptop. Your friend. What was his name? Not him. The good-looking one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he had a two. Get to the hospital. Get everyone out of that ward. Clear the whole floor. Oh, is that Mr. Bean Scar? It's not green. And the black doors. Laptop, give me. No, 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 no. Oh, Wait. it's fine. Hang on. Give it here. Are you and me? Get a girlfriend. <laughs> you need all the help you can get. Fellas, pay attention. 
hospital. Okay. I am writing a computer virus. Very clever, super. Who was your lady friend? Patrick. What's <laughs> <laughs> you talking about, Jeff? It will default at zero exactly <laughs> at the same time. I'll let my best man explain. Jeff, that's you. This is it, Jeff, right here, right now. This is when you fly. Today's the day you save the world. He was also Deacon in Game of Thrones. Yes, he was. Let's do this. And delete your internet history. <laughs> That's some sound advice from the Daco. You're gonna need a car. Don't worry, I'll come and need a vehicle. <laughs> Lovely. Well, the cars will get out of the way so you can get there quickly. It works. Dog. The size of that dog. I swear it was rabid. And he just went mad, attacking everyone. Where did he go? Did you see? Has he ladies? What? Oh, I'm getting it wrong again, aren't I? Oh my god! Prisoner Zero. Amy, what's happening? Okay, that looks really fake. Everything's been great so far except that. I mean, in terms of like the CGI. Dear little Amelia Pond, I've watched you grow up. Creepy. Years, and you never even knew I was there waiting for her magic doctor to return. But not this time, Amelia. You returned. Are they gonna like bite someone or something or are they just gonna show their teeth? So like the million times they're showing their teeth and not doing anything. It. The cracks in the skin of the universe, don't you know where they came from? You don't, do you? The doctor in the TARDIS doesn't know. Didn't know. <laughs> the universe is cracked. The Pandora will- Ran out of time, come on. ...will fall. In the library? Look at that! Yeah, I know this problem, but you know what's happening right now. Went from 50 to 12, or zero. 11.50, I mean. All over the world, Quantum Fast is out. And do you know what the word is? The word is zero. Zero. And if I had a whole battle fleet surrounding the planet, I'd be able to track a simple old computer virus to its source. The source, by the way, is right here. Oh, and I think they just found it. Hmm. While I'm in this form, they'll still be unable to detect me. They've tracked a foe, not me. Yeah, my favorite bit. Do you know what this phone is full of? Photos? Yep. No TARDIS, no screwdriver, two minutes to spare. Who the man? <laughs> Come on. So I'm never saying that again. <laughs> then I should take a new form. Oh, stop. You know you can't. Uh oh. You've got to hold on. Amy. Talk to her. Uh oh. Well, that's rubbish. Who's that supposed to be? <laughs> you. you. He hasn't seen himself yet. You don't know. Busy day. What? This is, yeah. He was only just born. Poor Amy Pond. Still such a child inside. Dreaming of the magic doctor she knows will return to save her. What a disappointment you've been. No, she's dreaming about me because she can hear me. Amy, don't just hear me, listen. Remember the room. Remember you went inside. I tried to stop you, but you did. You went in the room. Dream about what you saw. See, the eye color of the child actress and the adult are different, but I don't care. Because it doesn't matter. Well done, Prison Zero. The perfect impersonation of yourself. <laughs> Prisoner Zero is located. It's Doctor. Silence will fall. The birds are out. Chirping around. The doctor did it. No, I didn't. Tracking the signal back. Sorry, in advance. About what? The bill. Oh. <laughs> I think no one was watching. Back here now. Now I've done. Did, did he just save the world from aliens and then bring all the aliens back again? Yep. He himself is an alien, by the way. Not to be confused with doctor, by the way. I'm saving the world. I need a decent shirt. 
<laughs> to put on a show. Okay. I see. Pretty good. Those clothes belong to people, you know. <laughs> Amy's not turning around. Are you not I don't blame me? her. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Lovely. Okay, that's pretty good. Huh. They were leaving. Leaving is good. That's a style, eh? The doctor will see you now. <laughs> you are not of this world. No, but I've put a lot of work into it. I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> is this world important? Important? One more, just one. Is this world protected? What happened to them? <laughs> there, there, there. Yep, there they are. The Dachos. Right. Hello. I'm the doctor. By the way. Oh, bow tie. Okay. Basically, run. <laughs> I feel like you want to say you're fucked. But, you know, run will do too. He was looking in his pocket already. Come on, man. In that other angle. Is that gone for good? That's the TARDIS key. Look at you. Hmm. Oh, you sexy thing. <laughs> so she's going to be the companion? Oh, no, she's leaving. I guess not. Wow. Does my eye hurt? Okay, that just happened. He's back. Sorry about running off earlier. Brand new TARDIS. You came back. Of course I came back. I always come back. I kept the clothes. Including the bow tie. Yeah, it's cool. Bow ties are cool. Are you from another planet? Yeah. Yes. Really? Gallifrey. What, what? Other planets want to check some out? Come with me. Where? Wherever you like. That stuff that happened in the hospital, the spaceships, prisoner zero. That was two years ago. Oh, oops. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say how many. 14 years since fish custard. <laughs> the girl who waited, you've waited long. Fish custard. Turn up. So, coming. No. You wanted to come 14 years ago. I grew up. Don't worry. I'll soon fix that. <laughs> The TARDIS was destroyed, right? So let's see. They're going to be the same. It looks different from out here. From whatever I can see. It's bigger on the inside. Anything you want to say? Any passing remarks? <laughs> OK. You are so sure that I'm coming. Why? Because you're the Scottish girl in the English village. Oh, all these years living here, most of your life. And you've still got that accent. Yeah, you're coming. <laughs> Can you get me back for tomorrow morning? Okay, why? What's tomorrow? Just, you know, stuff. A new screwdriver. It's green. I don't know if I like that. Why change the screwdriver? I mean, the other one broke, but I'm in the color, you know? Why me? I started talking to myself all the time. You're lonely. Okay. See you okay, then. Fine, it's just, there's a whole world in here, just like you said. It's all true. <laughs> I thought, well, I, I started, just like new TARDIS, new me. Okay. I am definitely a madman with a box. <laughs> <laughs> Mad Docco with a boxo. Fine, Deadworth. Hello, everything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Lovely, okay, 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 cool, 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 cool. I see now why a lot of people ask me to start here. That's a wedding dress. Oh, tomorrow. That's the stuff they're coming back for, eh? Oh, lovely, man. That was a great episode. Wow, okay. Yeah, I get it now. I get it. They, they sort of changed... 
the TARDIS, the Doctor, the screwdriver, pretty much everything. Okay, I see. Before I talk a little more about it, though, if you want to see the full-length reaction to this and all the ones before this, you can. They're on my Patreon link in the description. Thank you so much, every single one of you, for supporting me all this time. And also, I upload these videos first to Patreon, so the next few episodes might already be on Patreon. Thank you so much, every single one of you, for all the support on Patreon and on YouTube. Once again, thank you so much. Now then, this was a great intro episode. It was it was really well done because you had the doctor, the new doctor, and he acts similar to the old doctor, the one before this, David Tennant's doctor. He's kind of manic, kind of, you know, everywhere, kind of panicking as well, kind of doesn't really have full grip yet. And I think it's because he's just generated as his first day He's getting used to the new body. He's, you know, getting used to everything. His starters has been destroyed, which I completely forgot about, by the way. So he has to repair that. There's a lot going on. There's a little girl. Wee little girl that's waiting for him. He has to come back for her because he always returns. There's a problem at hand as well, which needs the doco's attention. So there's a lot going on. He still has the same clothes on, uh, clothes on from the old doctor. They're all ripped apart. Raggedy doctor, you know? like they say. So it's pretty well done because like I said, it's the old doctor, but it's also the new doctor. And you sort of see the transition. He finds his new style, his new clothes as well, his fashion sense. And uh, you see the personality sort of at the start, he's a bit more like the old doctor and then he's slowly changing. He's still like that. He's not all that much different, but he you can see him shifting is very well done the story itself is pretty decent as well the conversation between the doc and amy pond the little girl was pretty pretty good very well done then you obviously has the whole time travel concept and how the tardis isn't exactly accurate not always at least so you gotta kind of get introduced to that then you kind of get introduced to the idea that the doc is the protector of planets particularly this one the earth right he reinforces that idea as well so if you were to start from this point you would pretty much have all the information at hand i am however very glad i didn't start here though because the previous couple of the first four series were actually pretty good. I really enjoyed them. Like I said, they're all on the channel. So if you want to check them out, you can. If not, it's all good. But yeah, so we've met Rory, uh, who's Amy's boyfriend. So I presume that's whom she's getting married to. Or is she playing a bride? Because she's a kissogram, which apparently is whatever, right? Uh, you know. Never heard of that before. So she dressing up as a bride? Is this actually her marriage? I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, I was like, is this doctor going to be like the classic doctors where they have more than one companion? Two, in some cases, one male, one female, like Rory and Amy? Or is it going to be Amy and Jeff? I don't know. It could be three companions. Who knows? I don't mind. The more, the merrier. Oh, and he says Geronimo. I, I've heard people say that before. I wasn't, obviously, I didn't know it was from Doctor Who. So that's his, like, all on Z, Alonzo sort of thing. And maybe. But yeah, I'm very much looking forward to this Doctor's tenure as the Doco who o <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, do drop a like. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Check out my Patreon and other links in the description down below. Thank you so much once again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Until then, have a nice...